Good day, YouTubers. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. I have to pick some potatoes out of our garden so we can bring them up to the cottage and have some french fries. Ben cut the grass for me. I did the weed eating and then the blowing of the grass to get it off all of our sidewalks or walkways, whatever you want to call them. Megan's over there picking beans. Say hi, Meg. Hi. There you go. See, I do have a daughter or it's a neighbor or something, I don't know. Uh, so and I get busy picking these taters. So actually I'll, I'll bring you along on the picking thing. All right, I've got my trusty pick, which is like the best way to get your potatoes up. Uh, you just basically put it under, hopefully you don't spear one of your own potatoes. And there's a potato right there. Already, nice. There you go, look at that. A fresh tater. We'll put that there, We've got to wash them all. Let's see if we can get another one out. I'm gonna move this thing, that's in my way. There we go. I'm gonna go deep, deep, deep. All right. This isn't the easiest thing to do with one hand. So there's another one. I'm gonna step them out of the one there. And they come off nice and easy. Some of them are a bit too small. And then this stuff can just go straight into recycling or composting, I mean. It's my favorite thing to grow because you can eat it. I know you can eat lots of things, but look at the size of that sucker. Nice. Farmer Brownie had a dog, and Potato was his name. Oh, got lots of small little guys. And that's pretty much it for you guys. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to watch me do the whole thing. So I'm just going to finish that up, wash them, throw them in a bag. Megan's got a whole bunch of beans she wants to show you. Check how many beans Megan picked. Tons more where that came from. Those, like, any, really? There's tons more? No, not tons more. Maybe half bucket. That's a good uh, size. I guess I'll show you my uh, marigolds. We, it was a bad year for marigolds because we missed that one watering where I just fried them. This was the only super successful one. Beautiful. Uh, it reminds me I should water them before we go. So these are all like two weeks behind. But again, I just don't think we, we water them enough. And next year, crop will be good. I'm hoping to, uh, when those flowers die and dry up, then we'll just crush them and get all the seeds out of them. And then they'll be our seeds instead of buying seeds. Here's Megan's corn plantation. And we've got one nice big corn right there. She's gonna pick it. Supposedly she read that once this is brown, when the silt is brown, then you can you can pick it. Uh, she's only got about two good stalks of corn. You need you need a lot of corn. Uh, just because you have like the failures too. There's a bunch over there. Oh. That's a good one. We'll start picking and we'll we'll bring up to the cottage and then we'll shuck them and see if see how good they taste. Yeah. We'll boil them in butter. And just to show you what, how much we got out of our crop, that's what we got. Megan just washed them all for me. And uh, so I'll dry them off and bring them up to the cottage and we'll have taters tonight, right Ben? Right Ben. He wants to go. Okay people, we are up at the cottage. Let me show you around. So this is the driveway. We got the boat all the way up. There's the boat right there. Ding, ding, ding. There's the Wendy house. Ben's all moving in. <laughs> if he can get in the door. Dining room, living room, and sometimes sleeping quarters. Then we've got another living room. I should have turned lights on for you. And we've got the bar and extra food overflow. This was a, a dream of ours for a long time because when you have beer and stuff in the fridge in the kitchen and people are in there cooking, it causes a problem. So having the bar and drink area out here is definitely, even coffee is definitely a bonus. 
Here's the kitchen. Let's turn on some lights. It is just after four. So, uh, my mom, my sister, my sister's boyfriend, and I renovated this whole kitchen. We didn't do the cupboards, but we did the ceiling and the walls and the new floor and that tiling. So there's another angle. Huge couch, entertainment system for rainy days like this, for sure. This is my mom's room. Well, the light's not working right now. This is my sister's room, very dark. There we go. Um, bathroom. Hey, hey, hey. And this is, this has been Carol's in my room for, oh my gosh, can't get to the light switch, there we go. Because we had the youngest kids at the time, so the bed, bank, bunk beds came in super handy. And of course we got almost every game known to man because it's a cottage. Lots of old VHS tapes. Not put back properly. And that's the view out our bedroom window. I painted that. It's one of my paintings. Yes, Ken used to be an artist. Now I'm a video artist. I put together, this is again one of my favorite birds right there. The Oriole, the orange Oriole. I'm not sure if you have to say orange, but. And uh, this is our view. It's raining right now, so a lot of you guys have seen the view before. We'll go aside for. So we have we go for the big deck. We don't we don't mess around. We go big deck or go home. Size does matter. And there's our view. Nice. The boat's still floating. That's a good sign. All right, people, there you go. Little tour of the cottage.